They're not as safe. If Falco crouch cancels either of them, you're getting punished. And the punish for Falco usually means that you might die. Yeah. And Roy being lighter and a, he falls faster than Marth, too. Uh, Falco's going to punish that harder than he does Marth. Like, pillar combos are going to work forever. Edge guarding is going to work. Uh, Roy does have the advantage of... Like, he has... His recovery doesn't go as far, but it's he has more mix-ups. So, uh, I don't know. Hard to tell which one is better in this matchup. Right. Or, you know, which one will make a bigger difference. As for what stage we're going to start on, I don't know. I think PS2, Smashville, or Battlefield. What else would it really be? It's not going to be Green Hill. Falco, it's not going to be Green Hill, is it? No, Battlefield, probably. Let's see if he goes for the Madman move and picks Green Hill. And I'm not sure who's picking here, but I don't think Falco would want Green Hill. You just, if you DI a forward smash wrong at like zero, Three, <laughs> you're two, far off stage already. Okay, already. Damage right off the bat. Yeah. And a power shield. All right, so Sethon's sending a message already. He's not afraid to forward smash, and he's uh, good at power shielding, probably. Kels has, like, those were some slow lasers. I'm sure they were intentional. Uh, yeah, Roy, I don't know. He has an answer to short up double laser from ledge, but it's kind of hard. It's always hard to punish that. Right. Yeah, okay, Sethon is super good at power shielding. Okay, yeah, Sethon not falling for the uh, shine, nair, shine fadeaway nair pressure. He actually calls out the forward smash afterwards. That was a really good edge guard by Kells. Ooh, Sethon calling out Kells' timing. That DI was incredible. Yeah, I think he's dead. Oh my gosh, he's not dead. <laughs> wow. Wow, get, grab some out of the shine pressure. What was that throw angle? Okay, yeah, there he punishes. Nice. Okay. Forward tilt. I'll have to remember that. That's good. <laughs> yeah, okay, jumps out of the up tilt follow up. Gosh, Roy's up air is really not that good unless you get the sweet spot. Right. It's just way too easy to crouch cancel. Ooh. Oh, wow. Recovery, yeah, just okay. barely. Double roll, it works out. Yeah, with that poke. Uh, grab. Right. Grab was guaranteed after that. Oh, Probably yeah. just messed up. He tried to clip his wings with that uh, up air, but. Yeah. Nice down tilt. Jeez. Hits him while he's in the air and airing. Scoop. Uh, so I gotta say, uh, one of Minnesota's really good spacey players, uh, I played him in this matchup before. Camping the top platform against Roy is super good. He can't really get up there very easily. And it's not like Marth where he can shark you with up airs. Uh, like I just said, Roy's up air sucks if you don't sweet spot it. So Kells might start doing that at some point. That counter. He knew in his soul that that, that, that laser was coming. Oh yeah, it gets hit by the turnaround uh, side B. He probably knows about it. I, like, I think Oro is in the same region as Kells. Uh, and Oro used to play Roy, or still does. So he probably has matchup experience. Oh my god, Yeah, and so there we see a forward smash not DI'd correctly. Oh my just god. Dies from Instant it. Instant KO. Super good from Cephalon. Falco just dies from it immediately. Yeah, because like, you know, if you get grabbed as a spacey and you get down tilted against a Roy, Probably. You don't want to get down tilt again. You're going to DI away. But if Roy knows about that forward smashes, you might be dead. It's just uh, it's kind of like a 50-50. 50-50 where one side of the coin flips is an instant death. Yeah. And the other one is uh, slightly you less don't You death. don't get hit by another down tilt. <laughs> It looks like he's opting to play a more uh, runaway shoot him with the laser. Yeah, Kells is really good at that. And 
like, Roy, Roy is obviously very comparable to Marth. And in this matchup, I'd say neutral is a little harder for Roy because, like, his, uh, his aerials aren't as good. Like, Fair isn't as good as Marth's. Oh, my God. He clipped him with the weak hit down air. Yeah, and then under got the stuck under Battlefield. Um, the thing about Roy, though, is that if you manage to hit a down tilt, the reward is so much greater than if you hit a Marth down tilt. Even if it's a little bit worse of a move, uh, like, going from neutral to punish game is way better for Roy than it is for Marth in this matchup. Yeah. They both get a lot off of grabs, too. Nice cross cancel. Okay, yeah, tries to do the same thing, but... Got Roy Zone, kind of. The actual Roy Zone. Nice shine pressure. Wow. Up air was surprisingly close to hitting there. Yeah, yeah Kells is just. Is pretty. Yeah, Kells is playing with safe shield pressure. Shine aerial stuff is uh, it's hard to punish. Hard to know, like when the fox is going to mix it up. And yeah, especially when you're already cornered on the ledge like that. Yeah, what do you do from there? I don't know. Because roll just, in is the obvious choice, so you don't want to do that because it's so late. Yeah, really it's just like when you choose to roll in is usually how I think of it. Fox is probably going to catch you some of the time, but it's better than that. Yeah, this fox is the good, the good choice. Yeah, definitely working out a lot better than the Falco. Although, really, the Falco was, uh, you know, Falco going was pretty fine. even until the end. Unfortunate moment at the end, yeah. Almost gets the angle. That was that was pretty close. Kells is, um, he knows about the counter. It's like it's like Marth, but a lot better because it scales with the power of the move that hits it. Yeah. Oh my God, is it gonna but, happen yeah, again? Kells, Kells di's in on the forward smash. Good stuff. Shivin with another down. Oh my gosh! What a god! Pivot S. Oh, that was like hard read on the roll. And oh no! Oh. Fast fell after the shine. That's two shines, baby. I hate it. I hate when I like fast fall to try to get to the ledge after a shine, but I just end up. Well, if you get double shine, like you die anyway. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was a double shine. I think you're right. It was. All right. Uh, I still can't get over how good that pivot F smash was. Yeah. That was so good. He called it. All right, Fountain of Dreams. Yeah, this makes sense. Right. Kel's probably banned FD. I didn't really see. Uh, this is one of Roy's best stages, just in general. Wow, that was a super quick whiff punish by Kel's. He knew Sethon was looking for something. Nice, we'll okay. That's two toasty moves. Should do like extra damage if they're already on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Kells is. His up smashes are so good. Just the timing and the spacing. Okay, yeah. He's ready for the turnaround yeah, side B that time. He's not gonna fall for it again. Ooh. Okay, that almost worked. I, I think mean, a I think back a back air just would have done it. Yeah, got a little too fancy. Okay, yeah, there he gets it. Wow, actually, Cephalon has not died yet. Yeah, he's getting pretty close though. This might be it. Nah, he's too tricky with his recovery. It it is pretty hard. Oh wow, he just he's got that four percent. Huh. Better than nothing. Not by much. <laughs> Kells just standing there. He knows Cephalon doesn't want to get in. grabbed. Uh oh. Man, that's so scary. Kells' shield pressure has been, like, so good this set. He hasn't really messed up, like, at all. Okay, kind of gets, like, pretty bad the eye on the fair, or the forward Gave smash. him that mixtape. The hot fire. Okay, scary. Okay, nice. That was, that was the only follow-up he could have gotten, aside from, like, maybe a wave dash off back air. But, yeah, super good stuff from Kells. Nice pivot F smash. I mean, he doesn't get much. Twenty percent, but now he's getting whomped on. Shield start Again, to look good. Yeah, small. really good shield pressure by Kells. Wow, that covered like three Just options. Down tilt him again. Do it another Ooh, time. Almost catches the spot dodge. Okay, yeah, calls the missed tech. We're we gonna see like a shine stall. No, shine stall back air is super good for edge guarding. Like if you. Just wait down like where Roy's up B can't hit you and then back air when you think they're gonna up B. Right. 
Ledge Dash. Did he smash DI on that forward smash, though? No. He uh, smashed DI in super hard. It might have saved his life. Dang. Oh, wow. That was super quick reaction time by Cephalon. Still gets burned, though. We're going to see a back air. Ooh, uh, I respect yeah. the attempt for that. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, what else are you going to do? You can try to side B stall, but he probably already used it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Kels has been, like, overshooting his nares, especially there. Wow, he almost oh, died off that. Run. Holy cow. Grabs him. I think he was about to nair. All right, last stock, game three. So if he gets a grab or a down tilt. Yeah, that's all he needs. Like, throws him off stage. Uh, if he, like, jabs the side B and then gets a counter on his up B, that's dead. Oh, okay, almost gets far enough to cover the tech away. This is so stressful. Ooh, up there, no, not quite. Kells is, yeah, oh Kels my gosh. smells the blood. Okay, yeah, Kells. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh my god. Kells has been DIing these forward smashes really well, though. That Jeez. was the perfect angle. That is a ballsy sweet spot, I gotta say. That's. Roy is pretty good at covering that. You sick. He teched the giant. Roll up. Nice recovery by Cephalon. Cephalon. Oh. oh. Yeah, unsafe ledge hop. Or ledge Throwing jump. Man, Sethon looks ready for that lat, like one of those last and air approaches, but uh, that was so close. Yeah, Kels' timing, like he just does not mess up his shield so. pressure.